Hey everybody, Water Level Productions here. This is the first video of the new year. Um, sorry I haven't been able to post very oftenly. I've been having quite a bit on vacation. I've been trying to focus on more stuff like school and such, so I haven't had much time in the film. But we're back and we have a new project. Now, I have one of these already, but not in this scheme. And this one I also like. But over last week, there was a train thing at the Uther B. Hayes Memorial with the Toledo Toy Train Toy Train Masters. And they were doing a a repair, I'm gonna call in quotations because it really wasn't. But here we have a Mantua Tyco one, I believe, 10 wheeler. This is the CR number three. And it's in decent shape. I would have a problem though if it's missing a wheel. But actually I have something that might actually work in my parts. Oh yeah, there we go. Yep. A little spare plastic wheel. That should be able to fit right in there. And then if we can get that in there, we should be able to go to the test and do a, do a test run. Okay, there we go. That seems to spin relatively freely. So we'll head over to the track with this thing and then we'll go we'll go from there. The rest of the way. Just to derail that. Now we're on and we're juice. Oh, that might be a problem. Okay, now if our lead's actually connected, let's try this again. She wants to. We got a light, that's nice. And she wants to run. But, of course, she's not in the best shape, so we'll go ahead and take her apart and go see what's going on here. Well, I guess the motor's all gummed up with probably fur or something, as these were relatively floor sets, too, so we'll see. Okay, now we're over here. Let's take a look at this. Like always, we're going to want to separate the tender from the locomotive so we get the shell off. So I've taken a few of these apart before. Address the tender later. That's not really a big concern right now. So we're gonna get into the motor. So it has the original drawbar and like the other one, which I didn't get 30 printed one, which may be the problem with it. We'll see. I don't know. Gears a little bit of black stuff on it too. Decent bit of oil, so that's good. So the drive's been taken care of. Okay, and there's that truck. Now it's behind all this. Oh. Okay, come on. Should take that off. Get those boiler covers to stay, but this one appears to want to stay. Oh. Okay, that makes sense. So, I don't know how, we, but unlike mine, that one actually has the headlight mount under the spring, which. That makes sense, but you can also see how look how gummed up that gear is. There's a good amount of stuff on there. And that is gross. We're gonna clean that off. I probably will go on the time lapse for that, but nah, we're not gonna do that. I think it's gonna use a little bit of a clean out though, so we'll do, we'll go ahead and do that. So Now we have just the motor block. I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can actually see what the heck I'm doing. Just the camera, just a tad. Yeah, that's better. So you can see at least what I'm doing a bit more. But yeah, it's, this thing's filthy. Actually, hang on, I can make this even better. Okay, there we go, now we're reoriented. That should be better. But, okay, we'll take the motor off. Probably the best bet to get all that gunk off. I'm not using my standard one. There we go. Okay, that was. This thing's probably never been apart. Huh, yeah. oh, there's a little insult right there. Never seen that collar before, but. There we go. 
Washers actually don't look half bad, so that's good. But that just needs to be cleaned up for sure, though. We'll go ahead, toothpick. Just kind of try to get this unwound just a little bit. You know, it's a point where I can grab it from pliers. Okay, yeah, that is tight on there. Good lordy. Let's pry that off. Yeah, that should definitely give us some gunk. That should definitely help clean this all off. Probably gummed up on the bearing too. Explain why this doesn't spin really freely too. <laughs> but. Yeah, it looks better. Go ahead and clean that commutator up. Shouldn't be another thing that's gonna help. Fiberglass. Okay. So over this camera setup too but that commutator switch wasn't that bad but we are going to check the the this looks better than the one that I have otherwise but we're going to check the, the the gaps because if anything does get caught in there or any buildup of carbon we can actually short the motor out there's three four Five. I'm gonna do this with something softer so you don't accidentally score the actual commutator plate. And the brushes are where things are gonna get fun though, because this is usually where all the carbon lives. So this little trim of a little, little leg off. And that's got a good amount, not too much, but there's some. So I'll keep going at this one for a little longer. This is a Terra bottle mount, so these are basically brand new. Check the other one though. A bit more worn in. So this should be relatively straightforward. And shouldn't take that long. Since it's already in decent shape, it just doesn't run very well. So we'll reassemble the motor later. But this running gear is pretty stiff, so. And that Main drive gear doesn't look the best too, so we'll have to open that up. That's not the right driver. Where is it? It's right there. There it is. A little drink of oil too while we're in here. There we go. Oh. Man, you are stuck. What the heck? stuck. Ooh. Yee. Yee. That is gross. Well, you can see it because of the lighting. That is... That is disgusting. I'm going to do a little piece of paper towel. Lights are clean because these will show you actually how... Yuck. Ugh. That is... Gross and starting to wear a bit into there at the middle. So, yeah, this thing has seen grease but hasn't seen oil in a very long time. It's getting all on my fingers. It's extremely sticky. It's the black in the, black in the frame, too. Keep that all together for now. 
That drive gear I'm gonna definitely have to clean up though. So we'll take all the running gear out for now, just basically we'll stuck to the bearings too. So we can clean this up from the start because S is just gross. And if you are at the Toledo Toy and Train Show in March, I would recommend if you do buy anything from the Toy and Train Master, ask the test run it because this thing is disgusting. I don't really want any of us to have to go through this. I can do this course too because I thought this was going to be a parts locomotive, but I hope it's decent. But that is gross though. I'm going to get more paper towel. Hold on. Clean this thing up. Probably wouldn't hurt to use a little water, but I don't really want to do that. For now, it'll do. So we'll move on to the main thing the bearing and bushings. So these things are basically gummed up. Q tip action. Should clean them right up. These bearings are disgusting. Like, come on. Like, that is just gross. There's one of them at least done. Do the other ones. We're just going to time lapse to make this thing go a little faster. Okay, yeah, looking at those now, those are definitely a lot more shiny too than they were. The fun thing in the axles, just these things are really gummed up. Like these are just gross. I need, I need to let something get this bad. That's why you need to use oil too instead of just grease because grease can dry out over time gum up the drive so it doesn't work as well as it did let alone if you're unlucky enough at all here i'm definitely going to clean up a little bit so we'll go in there for a little flat head and just kind of scrape most of that stuff off it's a bad idea but this thing is Disgusting to begin with, though. Do a deep clean on it, too. Yeah. And that gear's so something's really gonna affect it. So, those teeth I've gotta worry about because there's gunk in there, too. Punch those out. This should be fine, though, but. It's not a bad idea to punch them out. Just want to get a good amount of gunk off there. It's gross. Yeah. Just down there. But essentially, also, what was going on at this day because Toy Masters were there is that they were doing a free repair, and I can attest to this one with my grandpa. They were kind of a bunch of bull crap, as I brought in a, because I'm not entirely perfect with AHMs or so, uh, that type of drive, because I have an old 1776 um, Jeep 7. I'll probably put a picture of it up on the screen in a few seconds. But anyway, the problem with that is I believe it's something with the drive, because it sounds perfectly fine going one way and it sounds like other garbage going the other but it's they took like one look and they said yeah we can't do anything about it how about we how about you fill out this card and we'll take it and we'll do it i'm like yeah no i'm not gonna do that so if it's a free job you're gonna get free service which does not mean it's gonna be good i'm putting that in the wrong way mistake i made on my last one where i actually put everything back and that kind of worked. Okay, that drive's gonna be. Oh, yeah, that's smoother already. But for a of our. Well, here we can make it even smoother. Fill that up. Put 
you're gonna get more. Hold on, where did I put the jar? This jar. Syringe a little bit. There we go. Okay, that should be definitely more than enough. But more is always better. Still gotta try to be sparing though, but this thing hasn't seen oil in years. And that's, <laughs> that's made a difference already. Wow, that is smooth. That is way smoother. So, a little bit, it's not necessary, but this always helps just put a little bit on our sidewall connection points, which will, are just supposed to be our crosshead guides for this thing. As almost silent. Put that bottom plate back on. A little bit. Just a little oil on these two. It's right there. Try to get a little bit of preventative maintenance. I'm putting that on the wrong way. Whoops. Thing's gonna be good once this is all through with it. Basically, almost like brand new. Fresh out of the Manitou plant. I guess Tyco actually. Yeah, that is nice now. Don't really think I could do anything with the pilot, but that is definitely nicer. Oh, we'll give our actual motor a little bit of oil, but gotta be very, you've gotta be careful and do this because you don't wanna get any on the commutator. Otherwise it's gonna cause a very bad day for you and the motor. So you wanna be very gentle, get it right in there on those little rubber rings as those act as a holding spot. And it'll seep down into the bearing. Just to help that a little bit, we'll put some right there. For those of you, you are going to be asking, I use a mixture of 3-in-1 oil and kerosene. The kerosene helps essentially water it down so it runs in the cracks a little bit better. So I can oil something that's here, but I can put oil right on the edge and it would seep down there eventually. And that is... Yeah, that's just going to keep spinning. So we'll go into reassembly, time lapse just to make it a little bit faster, and then... We'll see when this thing's all reassembled. Okay, now the fun part. Now we gotta get the wire for the headlight back under there. So we're gonna have to pop the brush out for a second. Get the wire, get the wire, come on. I know you're over 80, not 80, but 50 year old. Please work with me here. Please. There we go. Let's go right about there. Spring back. Right. There we go, and we have light. Oops, I almost forgot the stick. Hey, what are you doing there? Get, get up from there. This one feels a lot better. There's a lot, definitely a lot more stick on that motor. So this thing should be a good runner. stuck that's great this wire a 
up through there. The calves. So now we got. Now we're good. So there's one half to pick up. Got like that. Come on. Oh, the entire thing's main size. That's interesting. There we go. Let's swap that around too. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't decided. I might do a custom with this. Depends. You know, what do you guys think? Drop your answers down in the comments. But now we got the fun part. Tender pictures. Because these things are usually pretty filthy. Which these ones appear to be. So, there's a simple solution for that. Could use a Dremel. Where's the fun in that? You've got a magical thing called <laughs> the adjustable chuck drill that you can essentially use as a lathe. So look at that setup. Yeah, some people are probably gonna hate me for doing this, but this is the easiest way I found to do it. So we're gonna plug the truck that out from there. You should do it from this side. It's a little riskier. Come on. Come on, you want to. Ooh. I've regaged it. <laughs> We're running narrow gauge now, apparently. Eh. Come on. I think, didn't think that was supposed to happen. We're gonna fix that later. There we go. Okay. Well, that's kind of good because it gives us more. I can fix that later. Put that in the chuck. Now, turn it down. Ultimate cleaner scotch brite, and we'll just kind of do this. We can usually do this with my right hand. So we'll this. Put that in there. That's gonna shine that right up. And that's basically brand new. You can kind of see the before and after, and that looks a lot better. So we'll go ahead and do the other ones. I'll fix this one somehow. Yeah, I'll figure that out. It should just be a... Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, that's gonna be simple enough to fix. Okay, we'll go take care of the other ones. Okay. Now if those will clean up and those look really good. Yeah, I might do the domes too. Yeah. Those aren't really as important, but now we'll take care of putting these all back on. And this is something I don't wanna screw up. Insulators on this side, so let's go on this side. Before I put these in, I probably should give them the journals a little sip to improve continuity too. And I don't really want to do it for one side, but it really doesn't matter. I can do it to all of them. Actually, I probably should check the gauge. A little bit more. Shoot, this one was perfect. Oops. There you go. Should probably be better of an idea if my judge is off on the fixed plastic axle, which I have another one right here. Time to do that. Okay, that should all be good. So, put those in now. Next, it's basically a press fit. So it's just slip fit, so I'll probably get that. Get nice and good in there. Another one. Come 
This one does look a little bit bent, so we will try to squeeze that back a little bit if I can. That is a little bit better. Right. Tender's done. Okay, now we'll just reassemble it and we'll head over to the track and see how all this thing's gonna run. Get back up on the get back up on the phone. A solution to that. Just crack the one off with the actual locomotive. Yeah, they definitely use Loctite on that or something. I'll just spin it around like that. And now we're good. Of course, now I lost that screw. There it is. should be hopefully in line still. Please, please be in line. Yes. And yeah, that keeps a little oil too. So we'll give the front pilot truck a little drink too. Doesn't really serve a purpose, but if your guide wheel is nice and loose. It's been spinning better. That should be we get so we'll head over to the track now we'll see how this thing runs okay we got this thing on the track now so let's see how this goes curve but i'd say that's a success so we'll end it here i don't know where the next upload's gonna be but we'll see when it is i'll see you guys later